The Southwest Virginia 19th Annual Antique Farm Days starts today. Tet News reporter Brittany Weir is live from Franklin County Recreation Park with what you can see this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are ready for a jam packed weekend here for the 19th annual Antique Farm Days. I'm joined here with Charles Brubaker. Tell us all about it. So, good morning. Thank you for coming. Good joining morning. Us. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming out this morning. It's bright and early I know, on a Friday morning. Out. Good right. deal. So, what can people see these next three days here at the park? They can see all kinds of things. Uh, examples uh, we, we're in a building full of them, but right here is a 1915 model Peerless steam engine that we'll have running over the weekend. We have lots of demonstrations through the weekend. We have uh, saw milling, corn grinding. We have three tractor pulls. We're really excited tonight. Starting at five o'clock is a hot stock antique tractor pull. It should be exciting. So if you're working today, please come on out. We still have a lot going on. Um, we have threshing and baling demonstrations. We have a lot of vendors who are here, great food. There's a lot going on. Uh, and the biggest thing we have is a history lesson. So okay. if people want to bring their kids out, their grandchildren, whatever, and spend Father's Day weekend, there'll be a lot to learn about. Okay. So a lot to see here and a lot for people to take in. So what are you looking forward to the most? What am I looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to visiting a lot of great people, seeing a lot of good things. I'm very much looking forward to tonight's tractor pull. I'm looking forward to cruising on Sunday afternoon for antique cars, bluegrass music. It's hard to pick one thing. Yeah, there's a lot. There's so much to choose from. Full schedule jam-packed. Well, thank you so much for joining us here this hey, morning. Thanks again for coming out. Yeah. And guys, make sure to stick with us because we'll have more right here showing you uh, more of this cool antique equipment um, all morning long and maybe some demonstrations too coming up. Reporting live in Rocky Mountain for Weird. 10 News, working for you.